What's up everybody, Trev here with Trev's Tanks, bringing you a video of how I clean and maintain my planted beta tank. We're gonna be going over tips, tricks, tools on how to clean and maintain these. Super excited to get into it. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing I like to do is understand why we clean and maintain our tanks. When we say clean and maintain, I'm not talking about tearing the whole tank apart and deep cleaning it. All we want to do is help the ecosystem out by removing some of the excess debris, some of the excess algae. The way that I like to do this is I like to have my assortment of tools here. Glass scraper is going to be super important for scraping the inside of the glass and just getting that algae off immediately. Secondly, you always want a little net just to get any of the debris, trimmed up leaves, anything that's bigger. Third, you're gonna get yourself a little toothbrush. I went to the dollar store and I just got the most basic one I could. This is for scrubbing all the rocks and just those crevices that are really hard to get to. Second or third or fourth, we're gonna be using our scissors and our tweezers here. This exactly for what they are, cutting leaves, replanting them. All right, so first things first, guys, I like to go ahead and remove all the floating plants just because when we're working in the tank, these will really get in your way. They'll catch all your trimmings and it'll just cause a mess. So let's get these removed. And for plant leaves, the toothbrush will work, but it can be a little aggressive. The best thing for plant leaves is to use your thumb and your index finger and gently just rub the leaf and it should take all that algae right off. people will comment um, but I always like to leave fish in your tank while you do the clean personally I feel that netting the fish and putting them in a separate container is just way too much stress for them they're totally okay with having all this debris and dirty water um, their natural habitat is a lot dirtier than our tanks here so he'll be fine he will be a little stressed for a day or two but you know just move slowly in your tank don't do a lot of erratic movements and the fish will be way better off in its own home while you clean it. So if you look back here, we got some hair algae hiding. Totally normal, it's probably very hard to see, but right here on this, we have some of that green hair. Totally normal, 
best way to take care of it. Don't use any harsh chemicals or anything. Just pull it off whenever you do your maintenance and it should keep it under control. We're never trying to fully eradicate algae. We want to keep it in there. It's part of our ecosystem. Keeps everything nice and balanced. So our next step, we're going to grab number three, four, five. Still can't remember what step we're on here. Um, all stem plants, if they're growing too tall, you can cut them at any point and just replant them back into your sand and they'll start growing again. It's really, really helpful. It'll start doubling your plant mass as your tank grows and matures. So I'm going to take this little Rotala Atra here, I believe that's the name of it, and I'm going to cut it probably halfway and I'm going to plant it right back next to it and it'll start growing another bunch. For replanting, I usually like to do it in a clump of three or four. So we'll grab your little clump just like so. I'm just going to take our tweezers here, gently grab them like so. Replant them in here. Just like that. We're on the step now where you want to get your buckets out and you want to get some sort of siphon so we can remove the water. And as we're removing the water, we can vacuum up all of our big, thick debris here just to get them out of the tank. And we'll have our water to refill as well. you can do is you can do a 200% water change. I don't recommend this for everyone, but if you have an established tank with a good steady balance to it, what you can do is drain the water to about this point, refill it up with fresh water so you have enough water to continue getting all that dirt and debris off the bottom. It's going to help you out a lot. It's going to give you time to take your time and make sure the bottom is all nice and clean.
So you just want to leave just enough room so your fish can stay upright. We're only going to leave them here for just a little bit. Our last step is to take a small towel somewhere and you're going to wipe down the inside with the towel. The glass scraper gets a good job of getting all the stuck grown algae off, but the towel method is going to get the grime and the, the grease off of here. Because if you look right here, you can see all of it kind of sticking to the glass. And, and if you get yourself a little towel or a paper towel, you can come in here and get it nice and clean. First pour, it stirred up a lot of the debris. When we're doing our final pour, we want it to stay looking a little clean. So I'm gonna gently put it up here so I can have the siphon, re-siphon it back in here um, so we don't stir up anything more. and make sure you flatten out all your rocks, make sure your plants and your leaves are all coming up. He's a little pissed at us right now, but that's all good. And yeah, after we do that, we'll plug the filter back on, put our floaters back in, and we should be golden. If you are wondering, earlier when I was filling up these buckets, I was using, if I can find it here, Fritz Beta Guard. Not a sponsored post by any means. I just really, really like this product. John and Lisa over at KG Tropical sent this over to me with my Beta when I bought him. And all this has is your water conditioner to make tap water safe, um, but it has added almond leaf extract, which helps darken your water out a little bit. And the almond leaves have antibiotic uh, properties that help your fish stay nice and healthy. So just add a little bit of this in, makes your tap water safe, and it also makes it happy, healthy for your beta. Final step is I'm going to go grab some paper towels. Get yourself some paper towels here. 
fold it up into a little square just like that and like I said earlier you're just gonna take it you're gonna finish cleaning the inside of this glass this is just gonna knock off anything that's stuck to it especially with this aquarium since these edges are rounded it's a little bit hard to get in there with the scraper Looks like our snail buddy didn't move the entire time. Completely unfazed by this entire maintenance session. There he is right there. Next, we're gonna add our floaters back to the top. I would highly recommend putting those back in with the filter off. Um, if you start putting those in with the filter on, they will gonna get blown everywhere, which is not gonna be fun. your filter back on this is going to give you an idea of how your floaters are going to sit and arrange so then you're going to get their final placement going all i use here for my filtration is a little internal filter it's called the nicru magi 200 um, it's an all internal filter all it is is a little sponge block inside of there with a little power head on there nothing fancy at all super easy to maintain I don't think I've uh, cleaned that in about a month and it's still going strong and I absolutely love it. The next step, you wanna get your little tweezers here and all I'm gonna do is just kinda thin these leaves out so none of them are kinda underwater or overlapping each other. Because if you look right in here, they're kinda under each other. And what you wanna do is just lift them up, get that water off, kinda help it out. After all is said and done, give it one little wipe over with your towel here, get it nice and clean. It's going to be a little cloudy, probably for another hour or two. That's totally fine. We're going to come back here and we'll give you a nice clean shots at the end here of how everything sparkled up and we'll see if uh, Mr. Drama Clean over here came to his senses and is happy about how clean we made his tank. Well, everyone. Thank you for joining me on this uh, maintenance and cleaning session of a planted beta tank. Um, I hope you learned something and it was fun for you. Um, if you have any comments or need any help or anything like that, please feel free to comment in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys all out. But until then, thank you for joining this video. This is Trev with Trev's Tanks. I hope you have a wonderful day.